Tomorrow, KSAT 12 is hosting a phone bank to raise awareness of the importance of organ donation and answer any questions you may have about being a donor. But before the phone bank begins, we're sharing the story of a San Antonio police officer who not only protected lives, but ultimately gave the gift of life. Officer Robert Deckert was killed in the line of duty in 2013. He was an organ donor whose donation through the Texas Organ Sharing Alliance saved multiple lives. Myra Arthur talks with his family about what his gift has meant to them. It's hard enough to lose him, but to know that he has saved four other lives. Jane Williams, the aunt of Officer Robert Bobby Deckert, speaking on behalf of his family, says Bobby's organ donation on some level gives his family peace. It was important to us to see that Bobby's life was not totally for, for nothing, you know. I mean, not that it was not for nothing because he was a great officer and he, um, he loved being an officer. It was, he was meant to be there. But, but to know that there's still more of him, that he's still giving, um, means so much. Officer Deckard was shot during a chase in Atascosa County in 2013. He died 13 days later. The recipient of his heart was a man and the recipient of his liver was um, a man and a woman received one of his kidneys and a man received his other kidney. There is a huge need here in Texas. 11,000 men, women and children are currently awaiting a life-saving organ transplant. The Texas Organ Sharing Alliance, or TOSUP, says 22 Texans die every day waiting for a transplant. When someone donates or the loved one made that decision to donate, they're leaving a legacy that goes way beyond uh, their own time here. Bobby's legacy would not only be making the ultimate sacrifice for his community, but giving the gift of life to four strangers. We've lived through seeing how it, it helps other people. It's just like, it's just the most wonderful thing to do. Myra Arthur, KSAT 12 News. The recipients of Officer Bobby Deckard's organs would not remain strangers for long. Coming up tomorrow morning on GMSA, his family tells us what it was like meeting the man who received Bobby's heart and how he's now living a full life. Our Donate Life Texas Phone Bank, meantime, is happening tomorrow from noon to 7 p.m.